Hello everyone, so um, today I'm bringing to you a very different video. So I'm starting off this new series on my channel which is basically called RT Time, where essentially I will just make a cup of tea and I advise you to do the same and I sit down and I just talk to you guys about either arty things or uh, the things that I want to share with you and that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, and so I thought for the first theme of the first video in the series I could do a video that I've been uh, meaning to do for a while which is uh, some tips on uh, how to deal with anxiety and or depression like me. <laughs> I compiled a bunch of uh, tips and things that work very well for me personally that I thought I could share with you guys and hopefully help someone out there who's watching this video. So today I got myself some peppermint tea with a little bit of honey in it because I've been having a bit of a sore throat and um, honey and tea are literally the cure for anything. Um, so that's what I'm having today. So the first tip that I wanted to kind of talk about was actually uh, something that my therapist uh, recommended me to do and I found it quite helpful actually. I'm normally very uh, stubborn so whenever my therapist or anyone tells me oh you should try doing this it'll help you out a lot I'll be like mm -hmm, sure you don't even know what you're talking about uh, but I actually did try this out um, especially when I started bullet journaling I keep a little log in my monthly bullet journal thing um, for my anxiety brain dump and basically my anxiety log is what I call it um, and it is basically where I just dump out all of my ideas or a thought that I have that's in the back of my mind throughout a whole week or a day or an hour it doesn't matter it's basically where I'll write down those little bugs in my mind that keep my anxiety going so this is basically where I try and uh, drain out all of those bad thoughts and all of those um, fears and worries and everything and that's where I put them down because one thing that I realized is that once you actually put into words um, the things that are worrying you or just your thoughts they become so much smaller and so much easier to deal with rather than just letting them ruminate and culture in your head that's the worst thing that you can do um, the next thing that I have on my little list is um, making a list. <laughs> one thing that I did uh, one time with my friend when I had an anxiety attack, it was a pretty bad anxiety attack, and I went over to my friend's place because one thing you shouldn't do is being alone when you're having an anxiety attack. You should always try and be next to someone else. And what, one thing that we did that really helped me a lot was that we made this little list <laughs> on a post-it note because she asked me uh, what do you do normally that makes you feel happy and I just started saying things that I wanted to do that made me feel happy and she just wrote them down and I still have this post-it note up in my room like on my desk and whenever I'm having a really bad day or a really bad anxiety day or anything I will look at this list and it's immediately like a starting point for me to get myself hyped up again. What we wrote down on this one was a uh, do a facial cleanse because I'm very into face masks and facial cleansers and stuff. And then I had uh, another thing which was talk to my best friend because I hadn't talked to him in a while. So that was on my list as well. Um, sit on my windowsill and watch the sunset listening to music, which is something that I try and do every day if possible. I'm sitting on it right now. I mean, I'm always on this fucking windowsill. <laughs> and then she wrote down, don't be sad, oh kiddo, because <laughs> she's literally the cutest. And then she said, paint my nails, drink tea and eat fruit, which are all really good things because anxiety is not only a psychological thing, it kind of, it acts upon your body as well because your heart starts beating fast and you get sweaty and your brain starts working in weird ways. So if you relax your body, if you do things that are good for your body, your mind will follow that. Uh, I feel like a well of wisdom today. <laughs> then my next thing that I have on here is um, have at least one person that you know will pick up the phone and be there for you. Hopefully someone uh, that knows how to make you feel calm. There's just very certain people that just being in their presence calms you down. I fortunately have a bunch of friends like that and uh, even my mom, my little sister, they're all really good at helping me calm down. 
So um, try and find someone in your life that you can rely on um, and that helps you relax. Next up on my list, it's a very obvious thing. It's uh, listen to some good music. And here, good music just basically entails music that you like. Just any music that makes you feel happy, relaxed. Um, if listening to sad music makes you relax, then listen to sad music. Only if it doesn't make you feel sadder, obviously. And just close your eyes and just listen to it. Because it will get your mind off of anything that's bothering you. And you can just indulge in the music. Next up, a little tip that I have that I was quite hesitant in starting this out. Um, but once I did start it out, actually, I quite enjoyed it. I, and I've been doing it a while, which is uh, yoga and meditation. Uh, meditation, not so much, but more yoga. So there's this channel on YouTube that I found out that has um, loads and loads of playlists of various different exercises for various different times of the day, um, purposes, um, time lengths that you can choose from um, for whatever you need. So the ones I normally do are either the morning ones or the night ones, where it's like between 10 and 20 minute exercises um, that, that will either relax you and get you ready for bed or um, stretch you out and get you ready for the day. And they're really, really good to get your, um, your mind in touch with your body and just relaxing and letting out all the air. And it really is actually very relaxing and very good for you. So I will leave down there the link in the description of the channel that I uh, use as like an exercise guide. I really love just like waking up uh, just stretching my body on my bed and doing some yoga. Um, it's quite good and it's good for your body as well. It gets you flexible and gets your muscles working. What do I have next on my list? Ah, fresh air is the cure, honestly. Fresh air is something very important for anxiety because if you are having a bad anxiety day and you just sit in your room all day, you will get worse. You need to either leave your room or your flat or your house or anything Go for a walk it will work miracles i am not even kidding like because i know how hard it is to actually get off your ass when you're having an un a very anxious day and actually moving and going outside and facing the world but it's actually the best thing that you can do so just get out of the house even if it's for just like 10 15 minutes it will work miracles just believe me <laughs> the next thing i've got up uh, on my list is uh changing up something in your life um if anxiety is a very recurring thing um for you like it is for me. It doesn't have to be something very permanent or anything physical or... Oh, the sun came out. How nice. Um, I like to sometimes dye my hair and it's nothing permanent, obviously, like it washes out in a couple of months, but it's something that I quite like to do to like spice up my life a bit and be like... So I, I dip dye my hair sometimes and it's kind of pinkish at the ends and I like to um, paint my nails in different colors. Uh, it doesn't have to be something physical, it can be something about your routine. So maybe trying to go for a walk every morning before you go to college or school or work or going for a walk at night before you go to sleep or just uh, starting to have more of a routine or less of a routine, whatever works with you. And just make a few little changes in your life because it helps you feel more in control of yourself and your feelings, um, especially for people with anxiety who feel so powerless and so um, out of control of everything. Controlling something in your life makes it a lot easier. Another thing that I've got that I wanted to share with you guys was actually something very recent that I found out that's actually very, very helpful. It's called the uh, 478 breathing exercise, and it's meant to relax your body and your mind to a point where it actually helps you fall asleep in just under 60 seconds, allegedly. I've never tried it for falling asleep, but um, it's really, really good for when you're having an anxiety attack or just feeling anxious. Um, so what you do basically is um, you exhale completely through your mouth, making a whoosh sound. So, whoosh. and then you close your mouth and inhale quietly through your nose and do a mental count of four. So. And then you hold your breath for about seven. And then you exhale completely through your mouth for eight seconds. Again, making the wish. Don't you feel like your mind's a lot clearer now? <laughs> this is such a good exercise to do when you're having an anxiety attack. 
um, especially if you get breathing issues when you get anxious, this is the one to go because it helps you focus on your breathing, distract you from your thoughts, and it's just great for relaxing your body. Um, I really recommend this. You can do a lot more research on this if you want. Um, I'll leave the link down there for the medicaldaily.com site where I found this. Um, but I actually heard about this on a TV show, uh, a medical TV show or something. I don't really remember. And the last thing, but absolutely not least, that I want to mention um, for this um, video is, of course, the magical healing powers of tea. Um, not many people are fans of tea, I understand. But neither was I until a couple of um, months ago. And now I literally don't live without it. It literally has such good healing powers on the mind, the soul, the body, everything. Actually, something that I learned recently that I didn't know about is that there are um, different teas that help with anxiety, um, especially chamomile tea and peppermint tea, which are the most commonly found ones in uh, supermarkets. They literally are amazing. A, they're really good for your health, and B, they're really good for just helping you relax. And I always have a cup of um, chamomile tea before bed, and if I'm feeling extra anxious, um, at night or just during that day, I will have peppermint because I found that peppermint tea uh, helps me relax a lot more and it literally has cured anxiety attacks of mine. So if you're someone that struggles with anxiety and you want to try a more uh, natural kind of cure for it or a, a way to control it, tea is a great way. And I always put a little bit of honey in mine because honey is really good for you. It also sweetens it up in a healthy way. So tea, guys. It's essential. It's just, you can't live without it. Now that I finished my tea, it is time for me to also finish up this video. I really do hope that this video was helpful for anyone out there watching this. Um, I hope that you go and try some of these tips and I hope they're helpful. I really do. And uh, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a long, long time because it's something that I struggle with on a daily basis. And I can only imagine that there are so many of you that struggle with it as well. And I just wanted to let you know you're not alone and there are a lot of things that you can do. You're not helpless, okay? Thank you for joining me for this first episode of RT Time and um, let me know down there in the comments of any topics that you want me to talk about in um, any future RT Times. I am planning on doing these quite regularly because I really like talking to the camera. So let me know of anything you'd like me to chat about or send me questions and I will try and uh, talk about them in my next uh, couple of videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.